Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and today we are going to review the Love Me Powerful Case by Love Me. And yes, that is definitely a very Asian name for a copycat case. I'm assuming that it's a copycat because it looks exactly like a Lunatic Tactic Extreme. Now, if you're looking to build massive arms, I would recommend that you get this case and stop going to the gym. It's actually that heavy. The build quality on this case is a little poor. As you can tell, we've kind of shattered the screen. With all that being said, though, this case does offer awesome access to your iPhone. I don't know if it's the cheap uh, engineering or the cheap materials, but getting to your iPhone, using your iPhone inside this case is a breeze. But the build quality is quite poor and I'm not quite sure if, you know, this is actual corn and gorilla glass. I'll explain to you that in a bit. Based on our time with the case, we gave it a score 3.7 A's out of 5. It is not a great case. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? Dot C-A. Now at mobilereviews.ca, we don't try to rush things. We actually put in, our, put in an effort to actually use these cases in real life. Uh, we've done a drop test with this case as well as doing a screen protector test. Now the best thing about this case is your ability to access your iPhone inside this case. It's incredibly easy to do so. A lot of other cases that we've reviewed, there's little quirks, you know, certain things are a little harder than others. There isn't a single thing on this case that makes it difficult to do. For example, is that I've actually cracked the screen protector on this case. I've put two layers of packing tape to make sure that I don't cut myself, and it still offers better screen usability than your Incipio Atlas ID. Also, the screen protector, again, I don't think it's real gorilla, corn and gorilla glass, but this is one of the best glass screen protectors that I've used. It doesn't actually, it doesn't have that kind of rubbery feel that you kind of find on Lunatic Tactic Extreme. It's way better than that tempered thing on the Incipio Atlas ID, and you can actually easily get to everything. It's just a really nice screen protector. Now, the worst thing about this case is that is the build quality. It is a cheap case, though it is $50. It's a $50 cheap case. Um, the paint has started chipping off where we've dropped it. It's actually, we've actually deformed the case after dropping. We don't usually deform cases. We scratch and scuff, but never deform. Also, did I mention it's heavy? I did, didn't I? If you need more details, head over to our website. We've got a table that has a breakdown of all the scores that we rate against for a rating system. I'm going to spend the next few minutes going to cover the high level things in terms of design protection as well as functionality. Also, I'm going to tell you what the best part of this case is, and it's actually not physically the case. So do stay tuned for that. Now the case comes in three parts. There's a front, there's a back, and there's a middle. The front and back pieces are made out of metal, which is what gives it most of its weight. The entire case is put together by screws, and these screws are not as long as ones for the Lunatic Tactic Extreme. There is a glass screen protector that covers the entire front of the case. And now again, ours is cracked because we took an ax to it. There is an impact truss, though it doesn't seem like it would take much of an impact because it's very, very thin. Now it does look very similar to the impact truss found on your Lunatic products. Now in terms of protection, this case is not rated to any sort of military standard. It doesn't say you can drop it from a certain amount of uh, height. We dropped it from a bunch of different heights. We dropped it, you know, kind of waist height or my waist height. We dropped it from about my face height, which is about four and a half feet. And then we tried to do a six foot drop. And out of all those drops, um, the six foot drop was the most damaging to this case. It actually bent the metal parts of the uh, Love Me Powerful case. Now in terms of water and dust resistance, again, they don't say if it's rated to anything. I do believe this will, case will provide better than average dust and water resistance because everything's just clamped together um, using you know the impact truss as well as screws so there's a lot of pressure that's being put on the iPhone it's going to keep stuff generally out in terms of screen protection we did a similar test to the front of this case like we did with a lunatic tactic extreme we took the claw side of the hammer and we smacked it around a bunch and then we took an axe and then well we tapped it it wasn't that hard and the entire screen shattered so if you go to our lunatic tactic extreme screen protector test you'll see that i'm really wailing on the front of the case with the claw of the hammer a little tap of the axe does it actually look like corn and gorilla glass i'd like to know what you guys think i don't think so and again in terms of functionality getting to your iphone i've already said this it's really easy it's one of the best uh, cases in terms of accessing your iphone which is why i gave it five across the board for those scores if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos i do encourage you to click subscribe as we put out lots of product reviews news tips and tricks two to three videos a week so you definitely won't be bored um, do check out our website we post all our content there as well I wouldn't recommend this case unless you want it to look different and you like brightly colored iPhone cases. Given the weight and the build quality, like the build quality really isn't that great. I'm literally tearing apart the impact truss. You would think something called the impact truss wouldn't, you know, do this. The best part about this case isn't actually the case. It's a promotional video that they created for the case. You know, half the video is really a love story between two actors that are on screen. And in the midst of it all, you get to see a random iPhone shaking, 
A car accident, window breaking with the Love Me Powerful, a really small motorcycle, drilling, and sparkles. Now, please do watch it once if you're bored. It's only 3 minutes and 50 seconds long, which is probably half as long as this uh, review video actually is. If you have any questions for me about the Love Me Powerful case, please leave them in the comment section below. I am Aaron the Ho. You can find me across a bunch of variety of social platforms. Um, stay tuned as we've got other cases coming in that we're going to be reviewing. Thanks for watching.